Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Surge here in Channel Back on Channel 11, and today we're going to be using the Queen Charge Hybrid Attack Strategy. I showed this off in the top 5 video for farming as a Channel 11, and I'm going to use it today so we can get a bunch of gold to get all 5 builders going, and a bunch of elixir to get something going inside of the laboratory. And we already have a bunch of gold and elixir on the base at the moment, so how about we head over to the progress base and get some upgrades going on the base at the moment. We're gonna head over to the lab and get something going in here. We have 10 million elixir, and I think I am going to upgrade the most expensive elixir upgrade, which isn't that much to be honest. We only have the clone spell and the P.E.K.K.A. to go up to their max level. So we'll get the most expensive out of the two, which is the clone spell up to level five at 7.2 million elixir and a nine day time. We'll get that going down there, not too bad. We'll let that run throughout the entire nine days. We're now down to around three million elixir and we have 7.6 million gold on the base. I got the new Archer Tower up to level 11. It still has to get to level 13 to get paired up with the level 10 or the tunnel 10 defenses here. So I will upgrade this one using 1.62 million gold and a day and eight hours here. We'll get that going and I'll continue upgrading that into the next episode getting it up to par with the other one, which is only two levels, so it shouldn't take too long. We're also going to upgrade the other two Archer Towers up to their next level, which is uh, level 14, at 3.24 million gold a piece and a four and a half day time. We'll get both that going. Looks like we don't have anything, we don't have enough of gold for this upgrade here. So I think we will probably have to go into the Season Pass or something here. Yeah, we'll collect some of that. I think that may be enough. Yeah, that is enough. Perfect. So we'll get that going. The other Archer Tower up to the next level. We're going to save the Treasury Loot for the end of the video. But we now have only two builders left. And we need to get two more defenses up to the next level. So let's head on to do a few attacks using the Queen Charge Hybrid Attack Strategy. I'll show the army up on screen now. There'll also be a link to it in the description. But let's head on and do a bunch of attacks and get a bunch of loot on the Tunnel 11. And the first attack of the day is the Tunnel 11 with 600,000 of each. I'm going to show you how to use this army for farming. I usually want to go for the clan castle just to see if there is anything inside of there. Also going for the town hall just to get that star just to get the uh, extra star bonus if we have that available which I know we do because I haven't attacked on this account in a couple of days. We're going to wall break in and making sure to funnel the queen into the base by dropping some uh, funnel troops on the outside. We have our super wall breakers that we're going to drop one more to break open this compartment here and there isn't any clan castle troops which is pretty good so we are making our way over towards the town hall to take that down you can use this as a pushing army as well I will probably use this once I eventually push my town 11 up to legend league which I will kind of start to do eventually once we get closer and closer up to maxing out town hall 11 we're getting that town hall down for that first star not too bad I think the queen will go down towards the bottom which may be a little bit of an issue. Uh, we'll see here after she takes down the expo. I think she will go down towards the other expo. So I guess we are going to go from the very bottom, which are our sneaky goblins to create another pathing of the another hero, which is the king. Wall break him in using the wall breaker there and dropping the uh, miners and hogs over on the left side of the base with the warden on ground. We're going to use the king's ability here to go through a bunch of these defenses and allowing for the miners and the hogs to go over to the core of the base dropping our first heal spell in the core I was a little late on that there we're going to freeze that there and also using the wards ability I think actually we're going to have to use the another free spell to keep that queen up a little longer another heal in the core for that multi inferno tower and we have another poison spell we can use we'll drop on the queen now as it is the final hero we'll drop the wards ability even though this is a pretty overpowered attack here we are looking pretty good for getting this 3 star on the first attack of the day. We are running out of time as well, which we'll up that last heal spell towards the top. And making sure to drop the cleanup troops around the outside of the base, the healer or the uh, archers and the sneaky goblin attack or the uh, buildings there. We'll drop the last queen ability and we'll get this easy 3 star on this town hall 11 for 600,000 of each. Uh, kind of a very good raid actually 
for the first attack of the day. Haven't attacked on this town at 11 in a very long time, so it's a good thing we came out with a very overkill attack. The next attack here is a Town Hall 11. It looks kind of maxed just because of the maxed walls, but they have some Town Hall 11 defenses still. We're going to try to take this down. I think I am going to go from the right side of the base. I'm not used to attacking Town Hall 12, so the Town Hall 11. So I think I am going to go from the right side, take down the Eagle as fast as possible. We drop the Baby Dragon towards the top to start off, and a Wizard over on the right side. We'll drop the Queen Charge now to head into this portion of the base. We'll all break in immediately here. She'll head down towards the Archer Tower after taking down that storage. And she should eventually make her way over towards the Eagle Artillery to take that down. And also see if there is any Clan Castle troops inside of the Clan Castle. We're going to drop the King and stuff towards the bottom and go from the bottom right here with the uh, Hybrid in towards the Town Hall, making sure to use that Warden ability after taking down that town hall here we're gonna actually rage through the queen charge here just to speed up the attack a little bit because we're already hitting the two minute mark and haven't dropped anything else yet we're getting to the town hall now we may need to use the poison spell on the queen as it does it a little bit higher than our queen yeah we'll use it there and we'll also use a free spell on that as the Inferno Tower is damaging our Queen here. We'll drop another Wall Breaker here to open up the King and all that stuff there. We're gonna have to use the Queen's ability as the Inferno Tower lowers her health to a sliver. We'll drop the Hybrid over on the right side. And it looks like the King and stuff aren't going into that left compartment, which may be a little bit of an issue with the pathing of everything. We'll drop our first heal through here and a Raid Spell through the Town Hall compartment. We're going to freeze the Town Hall as it will activate here in a couple of seconds and making sure to drop that Warden ability through the uh, damage or the bomb after the Town Hall goes down here in a couple of seconds with the Warden ability and the Heal Spell as we work towards getting through the rest of the base. We'll drop the final Heal Spell towards the left side, but this is looking pretty good for getting this somewhat three star on this Town Hall 11. The uh, Inferno Tower is distracted onto the Hybrid and the King can survive a little bit longer. One more heal spell we're gonna use towards the top right with this main group of troops. We still have 45 seconds left on the clock and we still have a bunch of base still have to take out. We'll drop the heal spell over on the right side with the last little bit of these troops over here. We'll drop it right there. And I think that might have been a little bit of a waste. We have 30 seconds left as well, so we'll drop that. And also a wall breaker. Uh, this is a little bit of a uh, time fail, I guess. Or I guess the troops are going to run out on the uh, ground here, I guess. Uh, this is gonna be pretty close to a three star if we had a little bit more time and a little bit more troops as well. We would have gotten this three star in this one here. Bunch of miners coming down from the bottom, but seven seconds left this isn't gonna be a three star on this Town Hall 12. Getting pretty close at 92%, 93% on this Town Hall 12. If they had a little bit more time, I think those miners would have taken down that last Inferno Tower, but still a pretty good attack on a somewhat decent Town Hall 12. And let's end off the day with a very good loot raid here. 1 million gold on this dead at Town Hall 11. They don't have the Eagle up right now, but they do have both of the Inferno Towers. But all of the Expos are also down as well. So we already have to worry about are those Inferno Towers. So we are going to go for the Heroes down at the very bottom with the Queen at Charge. Dropping that there and making sure to path the Queen towards these heroes and also while breaking into this portion of the base. Gonna probably even need a Raid spell as these two heroes are both level 40. They're actually going to attack her at the exact same time. So we'll drop the Raid spell for her here and she will eventually head in towards the base after taking down both of the heroes and the collectors. She'll so head over towards the altars and eventually head over towards the right to attack that bomb tower. Drop another wall break to open up to the warden there and all three heroes will have gone down we're going to drop probably the queen's ability here as a bunch of defenses are attacking here and here unless she can take down that arch tower before but she will have to use her ability we'll drop the last sneaky goblin over here a baby dragon there and the uh king with the clan castle i don't really think i needed the clan castle because i did it obviously a dead base and we may even need the raid spell again for the queen to keep her up here through the core of the base drop in the hybrid towards the bottom right and the uh, king and clan castle working over on the right side we have a free spell ready for the inferno tower towards the top for the queen to stay up even longer to hopefully allow her to stay up for the rest of the raid 
healing through the top left. We have the Warden ability still left to use as well. We're going to use the King's ability here, and we'll use the Warden ability as well through the Wizard Towers. We have another heal we'll drop towards the top left, and a bunch of spells still left to use. It's going to be an overpowered attack, obviously, as it is a dead Town Hall 11. They don't have any Clan Castle troops either. Very good. And we'll drop the cleanup troops going all the way around so we can get the three star on this Town Hall 11. I can drop that wizard there. There we go. And we'll just uh, we'll drop the heal spell because we don't really need to use Elixir at all. This is a very good army if you don't have use for Elixir like I do right now. And you want to push and farm at the exact same time. This is a very good army to use. And we get the easy three star on that Town Hall 11 there for 20 trophies with over 1 million of gold and almost a million elixir as well. Back at the base, we have enough gold to use the last couple of builders. Uh, the Climber Leagues has ended around a week and a half ago, and I got enough uh, medals to get the Hammer of Building, which we'll use on the Wizard Tower here. The final one to go to level 10 at an eight day upgrade time, but we are gonna skip that as well as the cost using the hammer of building and there we go the final wizard tower maxed out move that over to the max side with everything else we'll put that right by the other wizard towers two more builders left to upgrade here to get going we'll upgrade the new cannon up to level par with the other one look at this here only 90,000 gold and around a three hour time we'll upgrade that again off camera just like the other archer tower and the final upgrade of the day we don't have enough so we have to go over to the treasury that i saved up here we're getting four million of each so we're almost filling up our elixir once again headed back over to the final cannon of the day and we'll upgrade this 2.7 million gold in a four day one hour time and we'll get that going down there actually we'll use a uh, builder potion so we can get the new cannon upgrade a few levels through the next hour but we get all five builders upgrading the laboratory going for the next nine days even though we have or yeah we got a uh, book of fighting from the season pass within the last 20 minutes but that is going to do it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one peace out